Hello from Idaho. We've been driving all day, on and off. Um, we made it through Salt Lake, had some tacos, found an awesome torta taco place. Um, we'll put a link for that down below because if you're ever in Salt Lake, you should definitely try it out. And also buy some meat from the grocery store right next, next door because that's amazing too. Um, so anyways, we cruised through Salt Lake, stopped to pick up a package from an Amazon locker for the first time, which was also pretty cool. Uh, shipped some stuff to 7-Eleven and just went up and scanned it and it popped open and gave us our stuff. So that's kind of convenient for people on the road. Uh, from there, we drove north, stopped by Ogden Hot Springs, which are permanently closed. Um, they were actually torn down at one point and they have been rebuilt but there are no trespassing signs everywhere so we skipped on that because we did not want a thousand dollar fine um, from there we kept going and stopped by crystal hot springs um, it was like 86 degrees out when we got there and it was 12 dollars per person to get in so we actually passed on that um, it seemed a little pricey for how hot it was versus how good the soak would be. Um, kept heading towards Idaho. That was all in Utah and we made it into Idaho. Uh, we we're heading to another hot spring. We have a little soak session set up for tomorrow morning. Um, due to COVID, this place we're heading is doing three hour sessions. So we had to book that ahead of time. And on our way, we ran into this little gym, um, Riverside. River, sorry, Riverdale Resort. Um, so we pulled in here, they got a slide, a couple hot spring pools behind me here, and a little RV camp zone. Uh, so we talked to them and actually got a decent deal to stay for the night, so we paid to camp. Um, but we're gonna get a soak in and hopefully a shower. And then tomorrow morning, we are going to Maple Grove hot springs um, looks pretty cool it's on the river um, I don't even know looks like a canyon we'll let you know when we get there but it looks pretty cool we're pretty excited all right so if you're still with us on the video I'm going to name this secret hidden hot spring it is Maple Grove Hot Spring in Idaho. So we're in Southeast Idaho. Um, we found it on the Googles and ended up coming out here. Beautiful spot right on the river. Uh, they have overnight accommodations. Uh, the pools are excellent. They range from about 105 down to, I think you said right around 100. Um, everything's super nice new owners two years ago and they put a lot of work into it um, made for a great experience Secret soaking pool for the night. There might be one in front of the kids. Looks like someone tried to make one.
Okay, so wanted to go look at the source here. Um, they have this nice yurt retreat center up on the hill uh, overlooking the source pool, which is right behind me there. Um, and also overlooking the river. The source is actually 170 degrees, so it's like 80 some degrees out right now and it's bubbling like crazy and you probably can't see it, but it's steaming still because um, it's scorching. So pretty awesome, uh, amazing what the earth is providing with hot springs water. Blows my mind every time. Uh, pretty cool place out here. There's one other thing that Jess wanted you guys to know, and we're seeing if we can find it. But there seems to be carp mating frenzy going on out here. And if you look behind me, out in the grass reeds over there, there's two kids with sticks, and then one of them has a knife attached to it, and they out there stabbing them. Uh, we haven't seen any of them dead yet, but they said there were several dead ones, and that they happen to get their hands on a couple, so. We don't know what they're doing with them. We don't know, yeah, we don't know what the end carp result right. is. It might just be some floating dead fish. Uh, but they just There's come right cruising there. right up here. There's one just floating right here right now. I can't see it. Uh, just under the surface. But they just come up and flop around like little dum-dums in these grass pods here. And they're pretty big. Looks like the other people are fishing for them too. God. Come on, do oh, some floppy flop. Right Ooh, she says there's a dead one. We're gonna go look at it. Okay, so she found the dead one. Or it's, or it's just floating sideways. Definitely dead. It's missing its head too. Yeah. But they're pretty big. I don't think the kids stab that one, or they cut its head off somehow, no, was there, randomly. Like All right, so we're here in Lava Hot Springs, Idaho. Um, the Lava Hot Springs Inn has some hot springs that we checked out. Uh, the main big pool in town is closed, but luckily it's probably not really our style anyways, due to um, it being pretty commercialized. I think it's meant for kids more. Uh, there's a bunch of people in here, so I was hoping there was no one out here this morning, but I'm going to give you a walk around real quick. That wraps up our time in southern Idaho. We are now going to head on to the Stanley and Sun Valley area. Um, we have wanted to check that area out again ever since we rolled through last year and there's more hot springs there. There's really good fishing and mountain biking so we're excited to see what's next. Thanks again for watching.